Amendment 190 from Judge Poe uh, that I drafted with him as well, adding a finding and policy statement regarding Iranian activity and Camp Ashraf. I'd like to turn now to Judge Poe to explain his amendment, which reaffirms our commitment to the security and the welfare of the residents of Camp Ashraf. Judge Poe. Camp Ashraf in Iraq is full of these kind of heroes. They are Iranians who love their country, but have been forced to move because their own government does not tolerate anyone who disagrees with its own totalitarian oppressive, oppressive policies. They've been falsely imprisoned, tortured, and seen their family members murdered. They were forced to leave their homeland and flee to Iraq. Now they've applied to the UNHCR to be recognized as political refugees and are currently classified as asylum seekers. But the camp is in danger. Iraqi troops have attacked the camp on two separate occasions, killing dozens and wounding hundreds. Now the people at Camp Asheroff are under siege. Iraq says it wants to close the camp completely by December 31st before UH. UNHCR can complete the process and recognize them as political refugees. There are photos and video of Iraqi soldiers already entering the camp in preparation for this. Hearing no further requests for recognition, the question occurs on the en bloc amendment. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the en bloc amendment is agreed to. Uh, but I will use this opportunity to uh, underscore what Judge Poe uh, brought up a, a few moments ago uh, about the uh, situation in Camp Ashraf. Uh, let me note that the, the uh, uh, residents of Camp Ashraf are totally vulnerable. 